So um, today we're going to look at the double entry for bad debts. Uh, bad debts are basically um, debtors who we know for some reason will not pay us back the money. Uh, effectively, they're considered to be a bad debt because um, as a result of us selling them goods on credit, if you like, um, when they don't pay us back, it's effectively the same as them dipping into your pocket as a business and taking the money from you because they've taken the cost of the goods and as a result of non-payment uh, leaves you short of that money. Um, so really, um, from an accounting perspective, we would debit the um, profit and loss accounts in our income statement as an expense. So how do we go about doing the um, double entry for bad debts? Well, if we look at the example here, we sold goods of $50 to Kaylin and he became bankrupt. So we know we're not going to get that money back. Uh, on the 16th of February, we sold 240 to Jay Young. He managed to pay 200 of that debt but um, it became obvious that he wouldn't pay the final $40. So the double entries would be as follows. With Kay Lin, uh, the original double entry would have been to credit the sales and debit the debtor account, Kay Lin. When he becomes a bad debt, to cancel this out and make it a dead account, we would credit the Kay Lin account and debit our bad debts account. So that $50 now will be shown as part of a bad debts entry in the profit and loss account. Uh, T. Jong, okay, we sold him $240, so credit sales, debit T. Jong's account in the uh, sales ledger where all our debtors are kept. And when he pays us the 200 that's going to go out of his account and into the bank account, which leaves the bad debt of $40, which we would credit to make that a debt account, and we would debit our bad debts account $40. The um, entry at the end of the year will be to credit our bad debts account and debit the income or the profit and loss account in the income statement. So here we can see that in our trading and profit and loss account, uh, specifically our profit and loss account, we would enter the bad debts as an expense of $90 and that would reduce our gross profit by $90.